So the next track, Every Man by Double Exposure, there's actually a couple of different samples in this. Or rather a couple of couple of tracks have, have sampled this. So So, uh, there's Trippin' at the Disco by People Under the Stairs. That's the, the first bit there. And they've just lifted the sample, kept it pretty much the same speed. And then, I can't remember the name of the track, but it was by Sal Sol Nugget. They've obviously just pinched the, the, the vocal, sped it up a lot, uh, made a house track from a few years ago out of it. So, let's do the People Under the Stairs first. I'm going to set the tempos, roughly the original beats per minute of the track. I'm going to do the exact same thing, turn warp on. Again, this has got a little drum fill before uh, the downbeat of the first bar. There's the downbeat. Everything preceding that is just a bit of a, an introduction, which we can omit. So this is basically how I warp pretty much every track. It's essentially foolproof. Since Live 8, the automatic warping has, uh, has been on the money pretty much every time. So make a a warp marker on your downbeat, right click that marker, set 111 here, right click a second time, warp from here, hopefully, metronome on, have a listen. Yeah, that's good enough for me. So, I just need to, again, tidy up, tidy up the odd hit here and there, but that is the sample from the chorus of Tripping at the Disco. And you can hear the loop isn't quite perfect because that hit is slightly early. So let me just remove that marker, make one there, and make sure that that kick drum falls on the downbeat of bar three. Now you can see that's pulled everything else a little bit out of time, so you might just need to tidy up. Again, if you want to, select that bar, or those two bars, Command I, select all those walk markers a second time, Shift Command U just to bring up the quantize settings, or remember you can right click and use the contextual menu. Let's just hear how that sounds now. And let's just turn that to Complex Pro. So there's sample number one. So that is tripping at the disco. Let's see if we can find the Salsol Nugget sample. So there's your Cell Soul Nugget sample. Again, back in the days before Ableton Live, where, you know, when if you wanted to speed something up in a sampler, the pitch had to increase as well. Let's just change this to re-pitch.
And obviously, um, Soul Soul Nugget actually got a different female vocalist to uh, sing the lyrics to this track, but actually just using um, the same lyrics from the uh, the first part of the verse, I believe. So that is two samples from one track there. Let's just move that down. One more example. So we've got Let Me Down Easy by Rare Pleasure. Um, so first things first, let's warp it. So we're going to turn warp on, exact same process as before. There's a bit of a drum roll. This is a little bit more difficult as to where the downbeat is. I just need a bit of experimentation here. Let's try there. We can just keep um, rejigging the position of the start marker, hence getting the correct position for the downbeat of bar one just by resetting 111. And there we go. The original is just a little bit faster here, so I'm just going to speed it up. Let's just change that to Complex Pro. So this preceding bar one. Is just all intro. So we can just remove all that by setting 111. So let's find the sample. This is a Danny Crivet edit, so it might be a little while to get to where we're going. There we go. Let's have another listen to that. So notice I can either loop it in the arrangement or I can loop it in clip view. If I loop it in clip view, you see what happens. The clip that was the full track running in its entirety is now turned into a bunch of my loops that I've just created in clip view. Don't want that to be the case, I could just quite easily loop that in arrangement like that. Up to you. Just take a copy of that. So the full sample that um, David Morales used doesn't come in until a little bit later in the track. I'm just going to use Command D to duplicate this first beat. So that's how he introduces the sample, just repeating that, that first beat over and over again. Let's just move that over. And then he extends it to two beats.
then he lets the sample run for its full two bar entirety further down the track. So that is a really, uh, really easy thing to do in session view, uh, in arrangement view rather. Just highlight the portion that you want to duplicate, Command D or Control D on the PC, just to copy section along, sections along. That's a very sort of building block way of sampling, it's a proper old school way of sampling, but you can get a little bit more creative. So hopefully that will give you some ideas for doing some sampling of your own and hopefully you can see how important sampling has been to move loads of different genres of music forward like hip hop and house music in this case. If you like what you've seen here I recommend you check out a website called whosample.com where you can punch in any artist, any track and more often than not it will pop up with either who that artist has sampled or who sampled that artist. It's a great reference.